We're a group of four students doing our bachelor at ETH Zurich and we're currently doing a group project at the automatic control lab here in Zurich. Now we've developed a system that is doing localization. It actually works quite similar to GPS but the advantage of it is it works indoor where GPS is not available. Now we have the great chance to go to this Microsoft indoor localization competition and we try to compete there against other international teams. Today was a setup day at the competition. Uh, they gave us some six hours to set up our system in the rooms where the competition will be tomorrow. Um, we had some uh, unexpected difficulties in determining the exact location of the fixed anchor tags in the room, uh, but we found a solution after all and the system is working now, so we're hoping all the best for tomorrow. So today is the competition day and we are going to be evaluated by 20 different unknown points on the X, Y and Z coordinates and how accurately we can report them and we we'll see how that goes. We had a base station connected to a laptop which streamed all our data uh, to the laptop. There we calculated a nonlinear optimization problem to get the text position plotted the room and added this point where we thought the tag could be to check whether the results are reasonable. Uh, they came out from ETH, they all were in the red t-shirts over there, they came really organized. The reason I like it even more is because most of these students are actually undergraduates in this. So the students did a great job. We achieved third place overall in the uh, 3D localization category. Third only to a company using a much more expensive technology and second to a company that's also been using the same ultra-wideband technology we, the students were using but have been developing it for four years. So in eight short weeks the students put in a lot of hard effort and achieved an amazing result. It's the lower the first pulse power is compared to the uh, power of the rest of the signal, uh, the worse is the quality of the signal. So we rate all the measurements we get and only use the best ones to actually do the localization.